Hey everybody, it's Dean. I wanted to do a quick review today on SEO Presser. It's a tool that I use and it's a, a plugin that you can get for your WordPress site. But I'm also going to be doing uh, some step by step instructions on how you can manually SEO your page. But I want to impress upon you what SEO Presser can do for you uh, to, I don't know, kind of automate that process. It's very simple to use. Uh, you just download the plugin. Uh, it's it's very affordable, but that's not my purpose to, is to try to say SEO Presser Day. You'll get a lot of value out of this video if you just follow along with me. So the first thing we're going to do to SEO our blog post is we're going to go out to Google Keyword Tool. And I've gone in, I've clicked, clicked over, and I've seen that SEO Presser is being searched 12,100 times globally, 4,400 locally, and also SEO Presser Review has been searched a thousand times in 480. So that's what I'm going to be targeting today in this uh, article. So if we go back and we look at this, the first thing that we want to do for SEO is put our keyword into the URL. And if you'll notice here, this is a permalink. And some of you don't know what a permalink is, but it's very important that you understand what this is. If you'll go to your settings on your dashboard, you will see under permalink settings you want to go to the custom structure and I've got the category and post name and just down in my article uh, the link to this video you will see that you can copy that exactly like I have it there if you want to write that down now you can do so but let's go back to the post you want to put that in and in the title you want to put your keyword SEO actually I need to take that dash out it's a full word SEO presser dash review we want to put dashes in between our keywords so that's the first thing we want to do and I'll save that and then I want to go up to the top and I always put some of you don't know what this is but I'm going to show it to you anyway you want to hit show hide kitchen sink and that's where you'll have your font options that pull up and this right here is my heading one tag and normally I type and I type in paragraph format but this is my heading one, heading two, heading three, heading four, etc. The first thing I want to do in my blog post, however, is I want to bold type that. So let me go back to the headings real quick. I always try to include my keyword, and which is going to be SEO presser, in the very top of my or my heading one tag. And then if I scroll down, I've got it in my heading two, SEO presser to do or not to do, just a different variation of that keyword. And down here I have heading three so I've got that included as you'll see I've got h1 h2 and h3 included in SEO presser then we're going to move on to the keyword itself I want to every time I make a post I want to put that in bold okay SEO presser that's the first word in my article and then I want to go and I want to italicize that keyword that tells the search engines hey uh, Google this is what I want to target today is SEO presser and then if you scroll down I've got SEO presser underlined as well so you want to bold italicize and underline your keyword in your, whatever article you've got the next thing you want to do is you want to have a keyword density between two and five percent and SEO presser helps you with that but if you can remember to do it it's great there's also another plugin that I use keyword density checker that's free and you can see that my density on SEO presser is 4.47 so I'm fine there on my keyword density the next thing you want to do is if you don't have if you heard, have wordpress.com you can't use any of these tools uh, but you can use all-in-one SEO pack for wordpress.org blogs and in the title guess what the first thing is the SEO presser but I've also got a variation of what I want to target and that's SEO your website and blog post there's keywords in that that I want but then I write a brief description down here that has again SEO presser in my description and lastly down here on the keywords I want to put an SEO presser uh, a misspelling of the word SEO review and you know you want to put six to eight long tail keywords if possible into your keywords they don't really look at those as much as they used to they're looking for good content that gets likes and shares and I've got some articles on that that I can share with you but the last couple of things you want to do 
and this is very important, every time I put an image in, I put it at the top, that helps your site look better, it helps people stay on the page longer, but this is very important that in the title that I've got SEO presser dash review. So I've got my keyword plus review and I've got SEO presser and SEO presser review there in my alt text. Uh, the link URL, I need to put that there. So when they press on that link, that will go to my affiliate link. If you're an affiliate marketer, you understand that. But basically, uh, the last thing that you want to do is put an internal link to another page on your blog site. And this one here, if you'll notice, that is linking to another article. Well, actually, it should be. It should be linking to another article on my page, and it is. So uh, that's my internal link. If possible, you don't have to do all these things and it does take time, but at the end of every one of mine, I've got my, when you put your link in, you don't want to say, if you're ready to buy, buy here. This is what's called alt text, okay? And the search engine sees SEO presser and it's got a link to an SEO presser affiliate link. So don't put buy here. And I used to do that in the past, but I don't anymore. You want to use this anchor text here with SEO presser in it with your link and obviously you can see that here it goes straight to my affiliate link so that's the seven things that you need to do and SEO presser you download the plugin you go over here and you you hit enter and it gives you your score and this one ranks pretty well but well, it's 96.67 it shows my keyword density of two which is kind of low but it's okay I don't want it to appear too spammy using it all over the place but I have my H1 tag, my heading 1 tag that we talked about, my H2 tag, my H3 tag. Uh, the length of my document is good. And, um, you know, I do have an internal link, so that's not entirely accurate. But it also does those all seven things that we mentioned. It gives you a reminder of that. But again, you can do this manually. But if you want to save some time, uh, check out SEO Presser. And if you have any questions on the software, and need help getting it set up, please let me know. And I look forward to speaking with you soon. I hope that helps. Take care. Bye-bye.